wrestled between Tony Gwynn Drive and Trevor Hoffman Way. This is Petco Park. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Miami Marlins and the San Diego Padres. First pitch coming your way next. Just about to get underway. Today's starting pitcher, you Darvish. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. And that one almost got him. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. And he deals. Fouls one off. Two and two. Picks and misses. It's a strikeout. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Here's the third baseman, Brian De La Cruz. And that one lifted in the air center field. In position. He's got it, and there's two away. And time now for the Marlins lineup. And perhaps part of the game plan is to get into the bullpen as early as possible. They're facing a staff that's blown a lot of games in the later innings. Boog and his hitters, you're aware of that, but you don't want to become too relaxed and wait too late in the ball game because you never know what could happen on any given day. But with that said, even if you fall behind early, you've got a lot of confidence that this game will not be over until that final out. Two outs, space is empty. The wind of the pitch. That oh. one misses. One and two to count. That's and there's a ball. Two balls. Two strike. Kicks and deals. That's towards center. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. We'll go to the bottom of the first. Zero zero. here in San Diego and on the hill in this one Braxton Garrett singing he's kind of a road warrior yeah I definitely say so you know some guys shrink a little bit on the road they're so used to just you know, having the comforts of being at home and having the fans behind them but this guy seems to thrive in adversity and being in some hostile environment so when you have a player like this on your team that goes out there and competes you definitely like your chances away from your home ballpark The 1 0. In the air, out towards left center. Gordon makes the grab, one away. 
batting second. Let's take a look at the Padres lineup. It features one of the sport's true superstars, Fernando Tatis Jr. And Boog, he's their team leader in home runs, so you know the pitchers on that other side, man. They took a lot of time preparing for him in that pregame meeting. You know, he's got a lot of pop, and it's real pop. It's not fluky at all. He can absolutely change the outlook of a game very quickly, so watch out when he steps in. Fernando Tatis Jr. stands in now and watches strike one. Fernando Tatis Jr. signed by the White Sox 2015 for $700,000. Oh, that's out. And then eventually moved in the James Shields trade in June of 2016. One down, base is empty. Smash to center, way back, and you can forget it. Home run. And the Padres take the lead. It's 1-0. Boog, his plan was to hit the ball hard, and he was going to figure out the rest later. You can't argue with those results. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. One out, base is empty. So digging in now for San Diego, jerks and pro far. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Just oh, off the drive. inside edge, Garrett. Maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, pitchers, they can come out, feel good. But this one's into the outfield. Could be extra bases. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. Throw is offline, and he's got a double. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. And it's second with one away. Here's Machado. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. That one catches the zone. That's strike one. See, as an opposing offense, how aware of pitch count are you when it's early in the game? You're very aware because you're wanting to get a good look at that pitcher, and when he's spraying it all over the place, you're just going to take your time, be very patient, and see if you can get into sort of those gap inning pitchers down in the bullpen because that's where you can really make your money. That is it. The second base. Now here's Jake Cronenworth. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. Fly ball down the line. Sanchez gets under it. And that's the inning. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. It's an early 1-0 lead. And we're back. We Top of the right second. Hand. And now the right, the right fielder, hand. Jesus Sanchez. Jesus. Darvish back to work. Inside, Inside. Oh. just missed. A little out front there as he swings through it. Carl Dixon working the plate in this one. You know, we often hear and talk about umpires being a pitcher's umpire, but Boog Dixon, maybe a little bit more hitter friendly than most. He's kind of tight on the corners, so we'll see if that comes into play at all in this one. Swing and a ball lifted in the air, shallow left field. Makes a nice running catch. And a quick out number one. So up next, Jake Berger. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Hey, 
Boot, did you know that May 28th is National Burger Day? Well, we've seen Jake Homer on this day in the past. You have to be careful if you're going to throw him a slider. Next offering way off the plate. One out, base is empty. One down, base is empty. That one fouled off, two and two. And the righty deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Nick Gordon, the next up for the Marlins. Gordon having a lot more success on the road this season. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a foul straight back. Nope. Next pitch outside. is outside. Wouldn't Whoa, chase right that there. time. side arise on the first and that is the third out of the inning Miami down in order they're down one nothing back here at Petco Park ready to go for the last half of the inning here's Donovan Solano and here it comes there's a swing and a drive. That one hops against the fence. And that's a leadoff double. Wastes no time there. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Stepping in for San Diego, Luis Campusano. Not getting the results he's wanted at the plate recently. Barely hitting over the Mendoza line this month. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, you can't expect to get a great pitch to hit with an open base and a runner on second. He's going to have to really tighten up his sights here, make sure that he can barrel up the ball. And now the lefty, Whoa, and that's that outside. Down. Ball one. Solano stands at second with no outs. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Gets to it on the first. Gets him. One away on a drop third strike. Well, it's a good job of completing the strikeout at first base, but the one downside is it did allow that runner from second to move up to third, and that's with one out. They've got more ways now to get him home, and that makes it another strikeout situation coming up. Jackson Merrill in the box now. No balls in a strike. One away with a runner at third. Bottom half of inning number two. And that one fouled off.
the pitch. In the air to left center. Long run. Grabs it on the run. And that should get the job done as he tags from third. He'll score the sack fly. It's 2-0. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. Next for the Padres, Hassan Kim. His splits between April and May there. First pitch misses. He didn't want to give up that run, but he did. Got the fly ball, sack fly out. Now it's time to attack these other guys. Get your team back in the dugout. Two outs. Hey. Up the middle, Anderson. The throw to first. That's out number three. One run, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We play two full. It's the Padres two and the Marlins nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the veteran shortstop, Tim Anderson. The line to kick the pitch. Strike to Anderson. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Swing and a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. And now here is Otto Lopez. And that's off the inside edge. One and oh. With the tying run at the plate, we're here in the top half of inning number three. In the dirt. Nice job behind the plate there. Tying run at the plate. Sinker gets the bottom of the zone, and that's a strike. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stand on that double play. The 2-1. And that one fouled off. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Swing and a chopper. Fires to second for one. Back to first. Not in time. Those plays can be tricky. They're routine, but that doesn't mean it's always going to be smooth. He delivered a good play right there. Nick Fortes, the next up for the Marlins. Ball one. In the dirt, but kept close. But no advance. That's ball one. And the right hater deals. There's the strike. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Righty to the plate. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Man at first, one away. the ground right side sneaks through base hit they get it in quickly so first and second now one out well that was an important at bat in this game so a great job there stepping up to the challenge not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play that's a team to bat right there nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep back to the top of the lineup jazz chisholm jr now struck out swinging his first time that's inside. Oh, 
one out. Runners at first and second. On the ground to third. On a Cronenberg. And that's two. Poetry in motion there as the second baseman turns the double play. Nice throw to first, and that's the way to end the inning. Luis Arise stands in. He's been much better on the road than here at Petco Park this year. Oh, yeah. As the lefty gets to work. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Top of the zone for a called strike. He's dealing with a great two-strike hitter right here. The strikeout is not automatic. Line drive, base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. He went up there and got it. With two strikes, I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where you could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there coming back in that at bat. And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. Close nope. one doesn't one. get the call. And nope. that one is one. ball one. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Pulls that one foul. Here's a one one. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Chisholm makes the play. The left field, number 10. Jurickson. ball. Now batting Jurickson Profar. Doubled his first time up. A little nope. bit high. And that's ball one. Runner takes off. Profar gets a piece there. Down the right field line and a base hit. Lead runner around second. Throw into third. And the throws offline. Safe at third. Manny Machado up to the plate. He's all for one. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. Missed with a changeup, and that's ball one. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Next offering in there for a strike, and it's one and one. And that drops in for a strike. Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch that's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. Runners at the corners, one away. Here in the last half of the third. Oh, Next one play. is off ball the plate. Two. And that's ball two. It's a good take. Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first okay. and third. The 3 2 oh, is off Take the three. outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's, it's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Jake Cronenworth will hit next. Cronenworth not having as much success with the bat here at home as you see the splits. Strike one. Hold one's the count. 
Arise on third. Profar over at second. Machado over at first. So one away. Swings through that one. I think ultimately you want to tie him up. Get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Got him swinging. Now that pitch wasn't even close to being a strike. And that just goes to show you how defensive hitters can become when they're up against an 0-2 count. You're just hoping for a mistake somewhere near the zone that you can get the bat to. But right there, he was clearly anxious. He was swinging when the ball left the hand. Donovan Solano, the next to hit. On the ground to third. Out to He's escape out. a bases loaded jam unscathed. Pods leave them loaded, but they're on top 2 nothing. So digging in, Brian De La Cruz. His home and away splits there. De La Cruz. And a pitch. In the air, left field down the line, and it drops in. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff with base hit. Josh Bell at the plate now. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. That one ripped but foul. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hardly order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. Tying run at the plate. Ground ball could be two. Off balance He's speed. Out. There's one. Relay to He's first out. double play. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Jesus Sanchez. That breaking ball drops in for a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Left hand batter waits. Now this is in the air down the line. Profar should have this one. Makes the catch inning over. Bottom of the fourth, and now the catcher comes up to hit. Luis Campusano. And the pitch. And that one clips the corner. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you'd have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Just a tough pitch to hit and not an easy one to throw either. On its way to the corner, Sanchez on the run. And he can't quite get there. It's a foul ball. Kicks and fires. Ball oh. one there. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Good job to fight that one off. The lefty fires. To the right side. Off balance oh. throw in time. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Number three. Jackson. So digging in now for San Diego, Jackson Merrill. Drove in a run with a sack fly his first time up. That one in there across the letters. Dangerous spot for that slider right there. Didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. Tell you what, he doesn't want to throw that pitch again. One down, base is empty. Nope. Outside. 
on the ground. And that one handled. Already two gone here in the home fourth. Good arm side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it. Just bores in on the hands. Two outs, base is empty. Ha Sung Kim, the next up for the Padres. Grounded out his first time. And the pitch is in for a strike. 1 1. Just missed. Two down, nobody on. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And delivers outside. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike if he swings or not. The 2 2. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The pitch. Three. Got him looking. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Padres go down quietly as they're unable to add to their 2 nothing lead. Here in San Diego, ready now for the fifth inning. And here's the first baseman, Jake Berger. Darvish back to work. Popped up. Cronenworth drifts towards it. Brings it in. And there's one away. Nick Gordon, the next up for the Marlins. Grounded out his first time up. Just missed. And another ball. The Padres leading by two. And we're at the top of the fifth. Slider misses outside. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. Righty delivers. Gordon go. tries to check his swing. Now we'll look to third. And that's going to be ruled a swing. One down, base is empty. And there's ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Here's Tim Anderson. One for one with a single so far. Right through there for a strike. Darvis checks on the runner. Gordon at first, one gone. Strike on the outside. And the count is 0-2. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. Time run at the plate. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Wow, just great bite to that slider. Broke hard out of the zone, and he just couldn't hold up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take, and there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. Marlins down to their final out. Otto Lopez digs in now. 0 for 1. He hit into a fielder's choice his first time. Back to the mound. He's got it. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Padres playing the win here behind some great pitching and defense. A low-scoring ball game in this one. Two-nothing game, few errors, pretty clean. That's kind of what you want to see in terms of defense and pitching. A couple of runs was all it took to get the W today. Two-nothing, your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Shambi. Talk to you soon.